All right, guys. So there's a lot to go over today. Um, Want to give you guys an update and uh, pretty much give you guys closure on the goldfish chapter. All right. So in the past couple of days, we went ahead and had a lot of goldfish issues. Uh, first, the ranchu ended up dying from uh, the filter upgrade, and then second, my smallest aranda ended up with a minor case of SBD. And the thing is, with SBD, I'm I'm pretty traumatized with it because with my other aranda. I had to do so much for it. It was it was nuts. With all that effort that I applied to that fish, um, the SPD never went away. I, I never wanted to deal with SPD again. And then I told myself that after this ranchu, uh, I, I don't want to keep uh, fancy goldfish anymore. So what happens with this little one is when it comes up for air, it'll float. And then maybe after, I would say about 30 minutes, um, it, it, it'll, it'll push all the air out and then it'll just be normal again. And then I also noticed that after like the big aranda pass and the the ranchu pass and the, the little aranda has SBD, this fantail has been kind of like bored looking. It just kind of sits there in like a corner of the tank and it, it looks really sad. And now that the ranchu is gone, uh, I figured that I should just donate these fish to someone that can actually take care of them. So I'm two for five when it comes to SBD and uh, goldfish deaths on this channel. So uh, I don't want any more to pass on my hands. So. I figured that I would just donate them to my local fish store. Uh, I'm pretty cool with them. These are the same guys that I got my Bashirs from, my three Akaras from, my Payaras from, that Pink Town Chalice is, all the Barracudas. I get them all from this store. If I'm not buying it from 6th Ave from San Francisco, I'm buying it from this store. And when I say this store, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about Superway Aquarium in Hayward. If you guys are from the Bay Area, East Bay, South Bay, San Francisco, come down to Superway Aquarium in Hayward and check this place out. It, it's not as big as 6th Ave, but these guys are hobbyists and um, honestly, it's one of my favorite, if not my favorite local fish store to buy things like monster fish and all that stuff. So the goldfish I went ahead and donated to Superway Aquarium. I originally thought that they were gonna put it on the like the storefront and sell it to somebody. The, I guess the owner just told me that he's gonna bring it home. His kid has a goldfish tank too, so um, yeah, that's, that's way better because uh, now I know that those two aren't separated. That, that, that was like the best case scenario. And now we got to think of a fish to add into that aquarium. At first, I was going to get a flower horn. But at the same time, flower horn is kind of in the same situation as fancy goldfish. They are man-manipulated fish to make them look the way that they look. I know that these types of fish have their own set of issues. So I went ahead and ruled flower horn out. The next type of fish that I was going to keep was a school of exodons. I've had a school before. Uh, I had a big group in a 50 gallon. The bad part is though, I'm not living at the house with the exodon. So if something were to happen, like they're attacking each other or killing each other, uh, I wouldn't be as quick enough to, to, to go handle that. Because when I had my exodons, sometimes they did brawl with each other and they would eat one another, you know, if, if, if you don't take care of them correctly. So I went ahead and ruled the exodons out. I was also thinking about getting like a big school of tetras or rasboras and just have like a big ball of fish in that tank but yeah it'd probably be fun for like a, a week and then i'll probably get over it i was also thinking about getting a wolf and then had just just dividing that 40 gallon tank and having two wolves in that aquarium but uh i don't know i already have mine in the sump so i was just kind of chilling with that so after thinking about the type of fish that i could potentially keep in this tank watched a bunch of youtube videos and uh watched a bunch of other fish tubers that i follow um i came across this fish right here at first, I was in denial. At first, I didn't want this fish, but after watching a whole bunch of videos, I really want a gopher catfish. So one of the main reasons why I want a gopher catfish is because I've, I've always liked things like the red-tailed cat and and uh, all those other big catfish, the tigrinus catfish or whatever, and those per pariba whatevers. But all these catfish get super big. All the smaller catfish that you usually see, like the eclipse cat. Um, those little banjo cats and all that stuff, they 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 don't really get as, as as monstrous and stuff. So I was trying to find the perfect catfish I can put into this tank. Uh, I came across something like a jaguar cat, a uh, hoplo cat. I, I've had hoplo cat before, Raphael cats and stuff. But that's kind of like something that I've had before, I've seen before, but I've I've rarely ever seen gopher cats at local fish stores. And the thing is, I haven't seen gopher cats at all at any of my local fish stores. And I originally thought that this was like a fish that we weren't allowed to keep in Cali. But uh, I went to go talk to the LFS, um, the same one that uh, took my goldfish. 
and they said that they're they're legal and they can get them and stuff so i went ahead and told them that i'm interested and uh, just told them to send me some pictures whenever they get a chance to stop by the supplier and then um yeah link me up with one that'd be perfect but look at this isn't that tight so let's go ahead and cut the camera off right now and then we'll turn it back on on uh so like tuesday that's when i'm supposed to get the call or text to see what the supplier has so Hopefully they have a nice one in stock and then that way we can go ahead and pick it up same day. So let's go ahead and cut the camera off until Tuesday. All right guys, so it's Tuesday now. Went ahead and picked up the fish. Check this out guys, it's insane. Look at him. You can't really see, but let me see if I can get him to come up. My guy hit me up earlier this morning, sent me a picture, uh, showed me what was there, and said that there was a big selection to choose from, so he went ahead and handpicked me a gulper cat. And um, yeah, man, he came through for me, man, and he took, he took my goldfish, took care of him, he hooked me up with a cat, took care of me, and I just appreciate that, man. So if you guys are ever in the bay, you guys want to check out a local fish store, Super Way Aquarium it is. Anyways, we're on the way back right now. I think the gulper's been in the bag uh, this whole time. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and rush this fish into my tank. So uh, yeah, see you guys then. Alright guys, so we have the gopher catfish at home. Uh, I think it's been in this bag for about six hours or so. We're floating it right now, and uh, we're just getting it temperature acclimated. And once that process is done, we're gonna go ahead and just plop and drop it straight into the aquarium. But from what I can see, it's a nice looking gulper, man. It's, it's, it's looking really cool. I was, I was really shocked to see this in person because I've never seen a gopher catfish in real life before. So um, yeah, man, I'm really excited for this one. Went ahead and got the tank prepared for the gopher catfish. I have uh, this egg crate blocking off any kind of holes in case a gopher catfish jumps. And then also we have the, the cage around the water pump. What's this? Oh, even better. Let's go ahead and uh, get this in there. All right, went ahead and found another piece of PVC, nice and smooth so it won't hurt the fish. Let's go ahead and put it in there. All right, I think that's good enough for now. Let's go ahead and drop the catfish in there. Nice. There we go, man. Look at him go. Look at him, dude. That is so, that is so cool, man. That is so cool. That is amazing. Like I've never seen a gulper in real life. Like, this is so cool. So we're gonna go ahead and keep a good clean eye on him. See how he does. And then uh, I think as he gets older, I'm gonna go ahead and um, change out these little hides for him. Might go ahead and pick him up some more, uh, depending on how skittish it is. But I think right now it's just kind of, um getting used to its environment and not really worrying about hiding right now it looks to be in good condition all the fins are there and all that stuff all the whiskers doesn't seem to have any kind of uh physical damage it's as it's as perfect as it can be uh based on this guy's size it doesn't look like it'll be able to fit in those holes right there check it out let me go ahead and get a size measurement um, put this next to him and it, let's see what's going on Oh yeah, there's no way it'll be able to fit in there. Look at it. <laughs> Pretty cool, dude. He's not that skittish. Uh, I thought he was going to hide and stuff, but, you know, he's just kind of like roaming around in his aquarium. Sure, he's not going to eat today. I'll come back tomorrow and try and feed him, but as of right now, I just wanted to make sure that it was good. All right, guys, so the transition went really well. Um, we're just going to have to wait until he gets settled into this tank. And then uh, hopefully when it does, it'll start eating for us. The good thing about this catfish right here, I notice is um, it's not like super darting away. Look, it's chilling right next to me. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. I went ahead and just added these PVC pipes for now. I think later on in the week, I'll get them some better ones, but I think for now it'll do. Uh, it's not going for a shelter. It's just kind of 
hanging out in this corner here. I think it likes it because of the flow. So that that portion right there, so that water right there gets pushed to this corner and then it gets pushed down and then I think it's just catching this uh, flow right here, which is which is good if it likes it. It might look like a really empty tank right now, but um, for the meantime, this is gonna be the only fish that's in this aquarium. Uh, it's gonna go pretty big. I think it's gonna grow to around 10 to 11 inches. So this whole tank will pretty much be the Sculper Cats. You know, actually, let's go ahead and see if it's a male or a female. So I saved this little picture from MFK. Uh, an anal fin that looks like this is a male. Then like this is a female. So if it's pointy going down, it's a male. And if it's connected, it's a female. So let's go ahead and check out our guy right here and see what it is. Looks like we have a boy here. Pointing down, kind of not pointing down. This one is pointing down, so we have a boy. All right guys, so it's the next day. I uh, went back to the house today to try to feed it, but it didn't really go as planned. I think what's happening right now is it's uh, trying to settle in at this point, so I'm not trying to force feed it right now. So I just wanna go ahead and cap this video off right here. So let me know down in the comments below, are you guys surprised? Uh, are you guys happy to see a gold catfish on the channel? Uh, how do you guys feel about the fancy goldfish being gone? Let me know down in the comments below. All right, so that's pretty much it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, it is a pretty big change when it comes to the channel. Uh, we went from Bashir's goldfish to wolf to now Bashir's gulper and wolf. So yeah, I hope the change wasn't too drastic for some people and I uh, hope you guys still enjoy my content and stay tuned for updates on this little gulper, uh, the Bashir's and all my fish. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next one and peace guys.